Hello and welcome to the Dynamic CCTV technical video. Today we're going to take a look at the new social distancing feature that's been developed to work on the Hikvision people counting camera. This is a feature that works off of bespoke firmware and allows the camera to monitor a designated area such as a queue or a shopping aisle and then alarm if the minimum distance between people, persons within that designated area falls below a set threshold. Perfectly suited feature to monitor minimum social distancing guidelines in the UK within internal environments and then alarm if encroachment went fell be below that minimum distance you can then configure the camera to alarm to trigger its really output for third party device activation thus informing either the supervisors in the environment or the people themselves that they have obviously violated or fell within the minimum guidelines so as I said this particular feature uses a bespoke firmware you can see there it's 5.5.90200519 we're using a DS2CD6825G0 people counting camera today. So it's a very simple facility to set up. You can see we've got the VCA tab at the, the top of the screen. So by clicking on that, we can configure out and calibrate our area. So the first thing we need to do, we're clicking on the VCA resource. We need to make sure that's set to behavior analysis here. Save that. If we then go into VCA, we can calibrate the actual area, which is similar to how you would use the people count camera in a normal environment the first thing you'll notice there is that my people count camera is not looking straight down it's looking at more at an angle down on the scene this is how the uh, social distancing technology works so it does work off a bespoke bracket that allows you to tilt the people counting camera down into the area it's monitoring the recommended angle is between 25 and 60 degrees down on the area where people will be sort of being monitored for social distancing the bespoke bracket that is available to allow you to easily tilt the camera is a DS2272ZJ-KL that's available from Dynamic CCTV. It's basically got a small swing arm on it which allows the camera to move around and be tilted on an angle rather than looking straight down. So the first thing we need to do is calibrate the actual camera which is the same as you'd have to do if you're using it under a normal people counting situation. We've got auto and also manual calibration so we've got this green box here this needs to be positioned straight down the floor area which the camera is looking and this allows the auto calibration to determine the distance between the camera and the floor area. There is a minimum maximum distance that this feature should be used at and that's between 2.5 and 6 meters. It's best suited in a horizontal area within 6 meters from the camera as well so you're monitoring an area within 6 meters but you can utilize multiple cameras within a let's say a retail environment or a larger environment to do this particular job so i'm just going to obviously position my calibration square here and click the calibration button and we should see a calibrated message appear in the bottom corner shortly there we go so that's the unit calibrated bottom corner you can see the height two to one centimeter so i'm slightly under the threshold but it's it's still operable enough for me to demonstrate the actual facility at this height We've also got our tilt angle of 27 degrees there and a heel angle of 1 degrees as well. So they've been brought in by the auto calibration setting. Once we've got the unit calibrated, we can move down to the actual rule setting here. The rule is basically the active area in which the actual camera is monitoring and also what it's monitoring for. So the first thing we need to do is obviously add a rule by clicking the add sign and we can give that a name. Uh, we call it test and we want to be setting that to distance exception which is the only setting there so what we've got here is we've got a time setting we've got a less than and we've also got the distance threshold so that can be all configured to how you need it to be for social distancing guidelines we want to be obviously alarming on a less than and we want to be set to two meters at the moment whilst it's still set guideline is two meters obviously that could change in the future and then you just need to adjust that distance threshold accordingly so that's the settings there for configuring we can save those settings so what the next thing we need to do is actually set a region on the screen. This is the active area in which the camera is monitoring for social distancing, monitoring people. Now the important thing about the active area is it doesn't just want to be the floor area. We need to set the area to be the full area in which people can walk, uh, the full height of the people. This allows the camera to actively monitor the full sort of height of people as they walk around. So for my particular scene here, I'm just going to set an area right across the top, down, and across the bottom there so you can see it's fully covering my two sort of markings this is a two meter distance here between the two strips so this will allow me to easily demonstrate the facility with two volunteers which I'll do later in this video so that's the detection area there like I say 
not just the floor area but the full area in which people are moving around in so we can save that rule like so it is actually possible to put a privacy area shield area in to the zone as well if need be if there was an area that you didn't want to monitor a member of staff etc some some area that needed to be blanked off that's possible through that setting there so we've got our arming schedule at the top for our linkage action so that's set to 24 but again that can be con configured accordingly and we've also got our linkage action obviously i'm going to demonstrate today's social distancing triggering with a netgenium speaker playing a designated message which will be done through triggering of the alarm output so we can save that like so so the only other thing really to look at once we've done that there is an advanced configuration setting there which has got various settings in it um, obviously alarm interval between alarms and also restoring and restarting your vca settings is there as well but under configuration obviously for the relay output you just need to remember that to set your relay output schedule and also enable it here set your, your latch duration as well so obviously mine's already set and got a 24 7 schedule there that is something important that you need to remember to set so i'm going to go back to my vca screen there and i'm going to get two volunteers and demonstrate this particular facility in, in action also on triggering played pre-recorded message from the netgenium speaker okay i've now got my two volunteers in the scene as you can see they're both stood at the two meter tape marks i'd just like to point out that these are both brothers so they're not violating any UK guidelines by being within two meters of each other because they both live in the same household etc so just like to uh, clear that point out before we go any further so as you can see straight away the uh, the two guys are within the detection zone they're both being mapped by the camera you can see the green box around each of them so how the demo is going to work is uh, one of the guys is going to move into the middle of the area so within two meters of the other you should see the detection boxes turn red for a, a violation alert and then the pre recorded message from uh, my Nigerian speaker will also sound alerting and playing a message in relation to alerting the people that uh, they need to obviously get within two meters so if i can just ask my volunteer to move into the middle of the the area please and now we can Attention. see please use floor markings to keep minimum two meters social distance while in the store Thank you. So there you've seen the, the detection zone, zone turn red and also the, the relay output of the camera triggering the net James speaker to play a message. So just a, a typical sort of example or a basic example of how this particular system can be employed now it can work in a, in a real life uh, scenario or such. So additional technical questions you've got on this new facility, please get in touch with Dynamic CCTV's technical support department where we're more than happy to assist you or contact your account manager for further information it is actually possible for us to install this particular firmware onto the cameras prior to being sent out so if you'd like us to do that then please obviously get in touch and we can arrange for that one as well thanks for watching this video please continue to like and share see you next time